take us through what your concerns are regarding the M25? At the moment, our main concern is with the new widening project, the noise level is increasing. And with the extra traffic which is going to be going into London and heading out to the new proposed ports, the traffic is just going to get worse over the next few years. Now, with the widening, we've been offered um, reduction, noise reduction, in the form of saplings and bushes and trees. Now, we know they're going to take a number of years to grow. We have no idea of a support package which will be maintaining those bushes and shrubs. And historically, trees and shrubs which have been planted in this area have just died off, so have provided no noise reduction at all. We're asking for proper noise reduction fencing, similar to that which has been installed in other areas of the N25, even areas where the housing is further away from the actual lanes of the motorway. And we think that will reduce the noise in this area to a reasonable level, where we can actually sit in our gardens without having this horrendous racket behind us. How bad is it? Because your houses are, what, 100 yards away from where we're standing right now on the edge of the M25? It obviously fluctuates every day. Um, where there's more traffic, the noise is louder. Um, so in the summer periods, when there's a lot of holiday traffic, there's a lot of industrial traffic going through, the lorries, um, the noise is actually a lot worse. Obviously, weekdays, where there is a lot of work traffic, the noise increases then as well. Um, on summer evenings, if we're sitting in our garden, some evenings you're having to shout to make yourself heard. And it's just not a nice environment to sit out. We're in a lovely area, you know, we're heading into the countryside, but yet you'd expect the countryside to be calm and peaceful. You'd expect to be able to hear the birds in the trees. And what we can hear is the noise from the M25. But the M25 has been here since, well, then. 25 years ago today, uh, you knew it was here, didn't you? So, yeah, I mean, it has been here a long while, but increasingly the traffic has built up over the years. And with the extension to the M25, the widening of the motorway, the problem isn't going to get better, the problem's actually going to get worse. And we'd rather there were preventative measures put in place now with the fencing rather than having to firefight when the noise level is as bad as we're predicting it to be. Um, at the moment, the readings which have been taken by the Highways Agency were taken several years ago when the traffic was much less. And it's those readings they're basing their predictions on. Now, we've taken our own readings which are marginally different to the ones that the Highways Agency are working with. So we can prove that since they took their readings and we took our readings, the noise has improved, increased dramatically. So it's only going to get worse. What help are you getting from the council and indeed what help are you getting from local councillors? We're getting an awful lot of help from local councillors. Um, they've been incredibly supportive. Um, they've attended meetings with us and they're fighting our calls within the council. Um, so we are having support within that, but it's the highways agency that we need to talk to us because at the moment the evidence they're using to make their decisions on is out of date and it's irrelevant. Uh, have you got any meetings coming up? We've got a meeting on the 16th of November um, where that's a public meeting where we'd like people to come and attend and where we can actually discuss this and we've been assured that highways agency will be attending that so we can put these concerns to them. Um, where is the meeting? It's in the British Legion Hall in Faymore Gardens at 7 o'clock.